Some say this tank is from outer space. Some say it's just too darn OP. Others say it's just for hacked accounts. Others say it's for cheaters. Most will tell you it's Seal Clubber's delight. And I'll tell you what, all of you are jealous. All I know is it's called Kenny. So what we're going to do today is just roll this bad boy out for a few games and see where we get, just so everybody can experience the delight, the neon pleasure that is Kenny. I know that Psycho Fudge will be gutted to watch this. He wants one. Mind you, everybody that hasn't got one wants one. So, what we're looking at? We're looking at a little Japanese tank, Tier 3. It's uh, in many ways just the same as the Tech Tree Kenny. Apart from this, has got monster DPM. As you may have seen from the first screen in the garage, this thing's got a four clip that's got a 0.6 seconds between each each shot and a reload of under three seconds of the entire clip and each shot can do an average damage of 40 so that means a full clip can do 160 damage average with a three second reload it's nuts there's no other way of putting it it has its downfalls it's poorly armored its turret, turret and track traverse is pretty low um, but that's it. Everything else has got everything going for it. It's got mammoth, mammoth gun depression as well, so it's great over ridges. Anyway, here we are in the first game. I saw some trees moving, so I thought I'd take some uh, proactive firing in the general direction. See that reload? Boom, boom, boom. And full reload of clip, done already. So you can see why this thing is feared by reds. It can just go around and absolutely plaster shells into people. But, still got to drive it around and try not to get hit. The one thing that you've got to avoid with this tank is big alpha guns, like a T-82, because you've got such thin armor, they can pretty much one-shot you. Also, the uh, pen on the standard ammo is pretty average, so you do get chucked into quite a lot of uh, tier 4 games with this tank, so it's just being aware of that. Now oh, then, you seem to have I wasn't looking, paying no attention whatsoever. Now then, I think I'm a little bit stuck behind enemy lines here with two red tanks. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's um, as you can see, just just absolutely lays into tanks. So we've got three kills already on this one. So um, as I said, um, Japanese tank. It's a premium. It came out um, quite a long time ago, actually, and it, Wargaming only released it for you know probably about an hour because they realised immediately what a massive faux pas they've made um, because this thing is just so OP. The balancing is just totally, totally wrong with the Alpha coming out of his gun. Now, there was going to be... Uh, they did want to change it. However, they discovered that they couldn't because it's a premium and people have paid for it. So they couldn't change the goods. So it's stuck as it is. There's an absolute mammoth seal clubbing OP beast. Now, it's not something that you want to play too often, but if you've been in the upper tiers, and Wargaming has just given you a hideous amount of terrible teams, it's a great stress reliever to come and play. So there we go, one game down, um, five kills, not too shabby, um, and a mastery to go along with it. So what we'll do is we'll see, we'll see how many masters we can get. We'll play four or five games and um, see see what results we get. And you can just see how much fun you can have in this tank. And be, be as jealous as you like. I'm not going to hold it against you. So we'll roll straight into the second game. Second battle. This time on Canal. You know, I'm going to run out of things to say. It depends on how many good, good games you get. But this, this could go on for a while. So um, Canal, um, I'm going to call everybody to go right because it's the... Uh, 
it's the common sense thing to do. Um, we'll see what happens. You know, admittedly, I called left on that last map and people seem to spread out. So a very nice good luck from the red team. I like that. He's not going to get a, 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 an upvote, though. So here we go. We'll go right. Um, now, the problem I foresee here is we have got three tanks that just want to camp and wait it out. Now, if they're not going to be proactive, I'm going to go back on my word and disappear off because I'm not going to be, going to be the only one going forward. Yeah, somebody needs to spot, but I don't really want that to be me in this tank, to be perfectly honest. We're in a tier 4 game and I'm not going to sacrifice myself, so I'm going to follow the M3 Lee. Now, that's a tank I quite liked when I played it. Now, I've not played it for a long time though, but that gun was a lot of fun. So I was kind of right. They they went they went there on the right, the reds. So I was kind of right in my thinking to stay out of the way there because it's not going to be fun. And one of them's disappeared off now anyway. So there's just two of them left camping, and it looks like they're bailing out as well. So classic, <laughs> classic, um, decent player behaviour that, isn't it? I'll camp, and then when the reds come. I'll disappear. Really good idea. So we are really badly spread across the uh, the map here. This is not conducive to, uh, to to a winning team. So, but they've got an isolated T28 here. So, so we can get some of him. So you can see that uh, three shots. I got 120 into him. So you can see how quickly you can just dump damage into these tanks. So, um, I need to get into a place where I can get a little bit of cover. Admittedly, behind one of these probably isn't the best cover because this thing works better on ridges. Um, so there's the A32. I don't know if I can that Whoop. Nope, I'm not sure I'm going to have things bouncing off. There's the A15, T15 even, and they put one into me. So I'm going to hide a bit. Not a very good place, this. So that T15 is pushed quite far forward. So what I'll do is I'll try and get around here. Now I can stay up high here because I've got such good gun depression. You see, I can just go up here, spot him, and boom, he's out of there. And, you know, unload three of the clip really quickly. So, I've got... Ooh. So, quick reload. Let's go back into him, although somebody beat to all that nice, juicy damage. But, the best red is a dead red. So, I don't really care who gets the kill. So long as they're killed, that's fine by me. You can see that. You can out DPM everybody. So that's T15's got an average damage of 41 per shot and a reload of probably three or four seconds per shot. I, I can dispense of a clip of four in, in two seconds just uh, and then reload in the time it takes for his gun to reload. So you can see there I'm happy to go in at this point because there's no way he's going to beat me. And, we're already quite a way ahead, so I'm not too worried about taking on a little bit of damage because the rest of the team are out. Now I've changed to premium ammo here, that A32 is a bit of a, a hard attack. Now he's not paying me any attention whatsoever, which is great. And bye bye. So as you can see, just, you know, at this, <laughs> this level, you've got, you've got such a variance of quality of players that a lot of them just sit there and you can just pump the damage into them and they pay, pay you no attention but at the same time that's what kind of makes this tank a lot of fun for a quick de-stress but boring for, uh, for longer term games and it's the same as seal club in full stop it just gets a bit boring so we've got a valentine left to go now valentine's a pretty darn well armoured so I'm going to tell the guys to cap. Oh no, we spotted him, so it's all right. So there we go. Now he's got his back moved, so that's all right. So I can pump some damage into his engine bay. But as you can see, there's a lot of red on the old uh, Valentine. 
So I think I'll get the honour here of uh, dispensing with him. And there we have it. So four kills that game. And all you need to do, I mean, I'm not doing anything spectacular in this. All you need to do is keep that gun pointing at the red and fire. And and it does it for you. So 1,500 damage there in a tier 4 game. So that's, that's, that's not bad. So we'll jump straight into the next game. This is just a constant recording. So I'm not patching anything together here. So you can just see kind of game after game what it's actually like. So here we are coming into Fort Despair. Um, I always have my standard tactic on this uh, on this map in Kenny, which is to go straight to the cap circle because we've got the nice ridge to fire over down towards Red Spawn and that camping corner. Um, and on the right hand side, you've got a nice wall to protect yourself from anybody that's going the traditional heavy route. So it's going to be interesting uh, next week to see what uh, happens with this map when we go into uh, the old wargaming um, fantasy tank scenario. I think really it's going to be it's the identical map from what we've seen. Um, it's just going to be warhammerfied, if that's such a word. Um, uh, it should be interesting. I'm, uh, I must say I'm, um, I'd be happy if they uh, dispensed at this time with with introducing more fantasy tanks. I think we've got enough in the game at the moment. I am guilty of having quite a lot of the fantasy tanks that have been available. Um, more through my um, greed of wanting to just own every tank that's available and have play different tanks and check out all the different game styles. But, you know, overall I prefer it if they've never been introduced and we just had historically accurate ones. Ooh, now you got clutch shot off at me there, didn't you? That VT7. So yeah, I'm just going to sit up here for a minute and see what's available. And see how quickly you can take a good bit of damage out of somebody, even when they just cross you, crossing past you. So, here we are. We're 2-1 down, so it's not too bad. There's a T7 car here that I should um, really try and dispense of. Now, it's got a nasty clip amount of damage. However, I'm not sure he's really going to do much here. Not concentrating on me, so that gives me the opportunity in two clips to actually finish him off, which is kind of, I don't know, seven seconds. So, get this TZ3 on fire. Quick reload, he's got no chance. So, you can see from this cap circle zone, you can really start to control the, the, the battle. Um, especially in the Kenny now. See on the move, dispersion, gun dispersion is pretty terrible. There we go, sneak up behind him, he's got no chance. So at one point I was getting a bit worried about this game, but now we're back to uh, a reasonable game. Um, two versus one. So, who, I'm a loaded AP because I just want rid of him. <laughs> Now, I think he's actually a reasonable player as well, so um, he seems to have been darting around and doing a good bit of damage, so I'm just going to keep my eye on him and our other tank isn't exactly the strongest tank, so get one in there. And then what I'll do is I'll quickly reload. The reload on this is so fast that if you just take one out of the clip... That you can you can afford to reload to get full top that clip back up again, get a nice fresh clip as opposed to having to panic about anything else. So there he is, he's dead, uh, and uh, that's pretty good. And uh, a what what the from the uh, BT7, which is all good. So yeah, there we go, another mastery. Um, is that the second game? Yeah, I think that's the second game, isn't it? So uh, that's two games in. Um, so that was <laughs> BT7, pretty good player um, on a re-roll account by the looks of things. Um, so obviously just a bit gutted. So we'll jump straight into uh, the next match, press battle again. Let's see what we're going to get this time. So we're a bottom tier tank here. Um, okay. This is where penetration values start to come in because the standard ammo doesn't have great penetration, especially when you're facing tier fours. So you've either got to try and get around them or just uh, load out with um, a lot of premium ammo. 
So as you can see on from my loadout, hardly any HE, but I do carry 50% standard ammo, 50% premium ammo. And some games I'll use all of that ammo and end up just on uh, standard ammo. Sometimes I'll use all my standard ammo and be forced to use premium when I don't want to. It's just the look of the draw, but you do need it on this tank, I think. So I'll load, load up with premium ammo to start with. Um, you never know who you're going to meet first, especially in a tier four match. So I'd rather get the first kick in and get the first shot in. Um, that was actually going to do some damage rather than facing something that's just going to bounce on. And my first shot misses. So, you know, <laughs> can't win them all, can you? So it looks like reds are amassing to push into caves. So I'm going to remove myself from that because I am too lightly armoured to really uh, participate in that. And I'm going to come down here and get this. Let's see how quickly you can just throw that damage out. Which is what we like. So it looks like the tier threes are the ones doing all the damage at the moment. We've got one tier three's got two kills. Duck away into cover again. Right, in the best place to cover. So yeah, my my thought process here is basically just to um, do a little bit of flanking because the AMX has headed up to the caves, and uh, nobody likes uh, a duck. The AMX 40, um, far too OP. <laughs> Well, their armour is anyway at the tier. So, let's go down here. That M5 was coming down. Can ignore him now. Gone. Sometimes I'm more than happy to take a shot because I know if it's a kind of a. Pass that one up. If it's a low um, alpha gun that's on Rex. I know that I can do so much more damage. It's not a classic hit point trading. It's just putting loads of shots into them and you just wipe them out. So there we go. Um, we're down to... See, that's even with premium ammo. It's very healthy, that, the side of that duck, does it? Now, I think I can afford to take a shot in here. If it, if it, if it, Right, it's coming back around to me now, so I'm going to have to do it. No option. And there we go. Team comes in for the kill. So, another good little game. You just, it is, it, you know, I'm not doing anything special in these games. Another mastery. Um, not doing anything special in these games. All you need to do in this tank is try and avoid taking damage, but keep the gun singing away. That's all it is. And it just makes it such a joy. And it is, you know, I've got to say, it is totally OP, this tank. It's ridiculously overpowered for its tier. But that's what makes it so much fun. And on the flip side, you know, you do have games that you get totally caught out, especially in tier four games. If you accidentally meet a Hetzer, uh, <laughs> going the opposite way, boom, you're pretty much gone. Anything, anything, you know, even Marder 2s can, can pretty much wreck you if they get a shot into you. So, you know, it's just a little bit of, a little bit of caution. City for the noobs. Dutch delight. It's funny, because I much prefer going City on this map. <laughs> My noob. Turns out I am. Thanks, Dutch Delight, for pointing that out. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to sit on this hill. I don't know why I'm sitting on this hill. This is just a ridiculous place to be. So I'm just going to move. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any reds at this point. Oh, an A20. So I've got to be a bit careful because that, if it's got the autoloader, that gun is amazing. That's another good seal clubber's tank, is the A20. So I'm a bit stuck here now. I've, I've made a bit of a stupid mistake. Stupid mistake. So I'm just going to sit here and then I'm going to try and come around a little bit to do some damage because I was a little bit sandwiched between the A20 and these guys. So 
Now then, tracked on an angle like that, he is next to useless, so I quite like that. Track him again. You can, you can perma-track tanks in with this, with this tank, because the, r r the rapidity, <laughs> is that a word? Rapidity? Of the firing on this thing is just obscene. So, you know, even if they detract themselves, you just lay another one straight into it, and then they've run out of... Um, toolboxes to, to fix that track and you just keep them there and if you can get them on an angle where they can't even get shot into you you know that's even better now there was a BT-7 down here so I'm just going to throw some ammo its way I'm not sure if it's still there if it's moved if it's AFK or whatever or even if I was pointing the right direction I was it turns out so we'll come back in oh bad misses yeah, um, can we get the reload in time so you see I can get a clip off and still get back in the fight for uh, finishing him off before anybody else can reload. Crazy! Oh, so anyway, so we're 5-0 uh, we're up, that's, that's a fairly uh, good good strong place to be. Now these two guys are pretty strong with their armour, so I've kept my premium ammo going here. I'm going to get into his engine bay. Somebody else managed to get the fire. And somebody else managed to finish him. So, come down. What we're going to do with this AMX? It's facing this way. Right. I'm just going to go in and take a shot. I think. Got it. So, let's see, we've really got much to go on. Anyway, he's gone. Seven two. So, a good outing. Four kills again. So, more than happy with that. Yes, it's just the end of the game. I suddenly had a panic that there must be another red hanging around somewhere. So there we go. Um, another mastery. Uh, 1100 damage. Nice and consistent. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.